Good morning. You ready to do chores with Josh? <laughs> Good morning, Josh. More chocolate in the mouth. <laughs> Beautiful, aren't they? <laughs> yeah. Gorgeous. Such a blessing to have roses. <laughs> sure, I'll close the door for you. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the homestead and to another What We Eat in a Day video. At uh, this point in my life, I actually don't have an oven other than a sun oven, which is great. And we uh, do whole chickens in it and things, but it's not quite big enough to make something substantial for our whole family, like a, a casserole or anything like that. So for breakfast this morning, we had what I call stovetop granola. And it's a very, very simple meal to make. And it's just done on the stovetop. Was it yummy? <laughs> So all I do for it is I start with four cups of oat flakes in a big, uh, kind of like a big wok with a lid. And then to that I add blanched almond flour, some blanched almond slivers, unsweetened coconut flakes, a little bit of sea salt, extra virgin coconut oil, and some grass-fed butter, collagen protein powder, and then sweetener, some kind of sweetener. And I like to use raw honey, and stevia kind of in combination. Maple syrup is a great sweetener for this. Today I also added some blackstrap molasses and raw cacao powder to make it chocolatey. Uh, there's lots of different flavors that you can do with this uh, granola. Uh, peanut butter is really good. Got a little one in my lap. Moving around quite a bit here. Harvest spices also very good. You could use other types of nuts like pecans. Uh, if you want to go totally grain free, you could omit the oats altogether and add like some pumpkin seeds and sunflower seeds. So there's just a lot of ways you can make this granola and vary it to make it more interesting. I just mix everything together before I put it out onto the stove top the best I can anyway. Uh, sometimes the butter or the coconut oil are still a little hard, but that's okay. She says she's done with my lap. <laughs> Off to play, huh? <laughs> she found a pocket. You putting stuff in the pocket? All right, so once I had everything mixed up, then it was out to the stove. I'm using an outdoor kitchen right now because it's too hot inside for a cook stove anymore. The only challenge with this is that it does have to be stirred every minute or so. If you let it go more than a minute, um, it can burn, and I've done that before. <laughs> so you just mix it uh, about every minute or so for around 10 to 15 minutes. The longer you cook it, the more crunchy it will be. I'm not giving specific measurements for these ingredients today because it really is just up to your taste. So I would suggest putting less in at first um, and then halfway through the cooking period, taste it. And if you need to add a little more salt, a little more sweet, a little more flavor, then at that point is a good time to add um, whatever you need to add to make it taste just like you want it. So kind of my overall goal with this granola is to get as many healthy fats and proteins in it as I can and keep the carbs a bit lower. Uh, I know with oats it's really hard because they're just almost pure carbs and so that's why I like to add a lot of the the nuts and coconut and things like that. So just cook it over a low medium heat remembering to stir about every minute or so for about 10 to 15 minutes or longer if you want it to be crispier and then the important part is to let it Cool. Uh, so you do kind of make, make this ahead of time if you can. Let it cool. That will help it to crisp up a little bit and set. And then just serve it with milk or any kind of milk alternative you use. We've been getting about a gallon of milk a day from our dandy girl. 
So that's been a real blessing. help feed the alfalfa pellet slowly, huh? Mm -hmm. So we don't have to feed her quite as much. Otherwise, she just wolfs them down. A good treat, girl. Yeah. The pen? Yep. Do you want to go sit at the table? No. All right. I think that's it for breakfast. Esther is going to be taking over lunch today, so I'm hoping that she makes her kale strawberry salad. We'll see. We've still got the strawberries coming in in the garden. Uh, so I'm just going to leave lunch up to her and see what she comes up with. And then dinner is going to be yummy Sunday. So Kip is planning to make chicken stir fry. We're gonna be getting our sun oven set up so we can bake that chicken and then he's got some veggies. We'll be gathering some veggies from the garden and that should be a really yummy meal. Oh, nice. So you're putting sawdust in that pocket? Yeah, yeah. making it eating food. Oh, is that your food? Mm -hmm. She loves to make pretend food. And uh, she's putting it in our pocket over here. Lovely. <laughs> How's it coming? Good. Oh wow, you've already got the bowl full. <laughs> yeah. Nice. What do you think about a strawberry kale salad to go with lunch? Sounds good. Sounds good to me too. <laughs> Is that a good strawberry? Yep. Yep. Good Nana. Good Nana. <laughs> My mom and I just processed the strawberries I gathered. We put a bunch in the freezer and I saved out this bowl for the salad. Cool. Along with the salad, I'm gonna make some chili. We have some leftover taco meat and beans. Then, I, then I'm adding some water and onions too. Nice. I'm gonna get this cookie and then go out and gather some kale for the salad. kale all cut up and this all can be as simple as just some strawberries and honey but today I'm going to add some sour cream and a pinch of salt too. Sounds good. How's the chili coming? Good. Good. So what did you add to the meat, beans, onion, and water? I add some diced tomatoes and some tomato paste and once it's done heating up I'm going to add some salt, garlic, cumin, and onion. Mmm, sounds good.
the creamy strawberry salad is really good. Yeah, I can't wait to try it. Have you tried the chili yet? Not yet, but I'm looking forward to it. Ooh, you added some spice. Yep. <laughs> All right, we're getting going on Yummy Sunday. If we had smell -o vision you would know I just finished a bath. <laughs> and uh, I weighed myself and I had surprising results. We'll talk about that later. Yes. Uh, so right now we're making the sauce. This is, normally I make it teriyaki. This is gonna be a little more like a lemon, have a little more of a lemon black pepper flair to it. Cool. So we'll see how it turns out. So what do you have in it? Coconut aminos, liquid coconut aminos. We're gonna have liquid Bragg's, lemon concentrate, and then the powders are black pepper, onion, thyme, rosemary, garlic, and one other, huh? One over here. <laughs> Ginger. Ginger, all right, cool. Ginger. That's gonna be quite <laughs> flavorful. We'll see. <laughs> all right. Got the veggies going. All right, yeah, we got the veggies going. Got some things pre-done, like cabbage, onion, radishes. Broccoli, pre-steamed those, huh? Yep, pre-steamed them. And then you like to strain everything, huh? Yeah, I like to strain everything. Because uh, when, when, when I make the stir fry, I don't make it correct. Really, to make stir fry, this should be so hot that, that you have to sit here and stir it. That's why it's called stir fry. Yeah. The pan should be just super hot. We don't do it that way. We steam it. And Since then... we do it slower and cook it longer, it's hard to keep all the moisture out of it. Yeah. Woo! It's a windy evening. <laughs> yeah, it is. So you're getting ready to uh, strain the excess liquid off and then put the sauce in? Yeah, here's our sauce here. Yep. And then the chicken was baked in the sun oven today, right? Yes, and we cooked the chicken in the sun oven in a pot. We got it all chopped up, so. And it's all picked and chopped up and we're, we're getting ready to throw it in pretty soon. Great, and then we have just a tiny bit of asparagus still from the garden, most of it's done, but we've got a little kibble that we can throw on top. That's right. <laughs> all right, everything's going in. How are you liking the chicken stir fry, Joseph? I like it. <laughs> cool. What do you say, Naomi? I usually not like it very much. But how do you like it now? A lot. <laughs> you like it a lot now? Yeah. Cool. Good bite. Thanks for joining us for another wonderful Sunday of cooking. Thank you so much to our patrons. Of course, as always, thank you guys. We appreciate you and we love you. We pray a blessing over you and yours. And whatever you do, do it with your whole heart. <laughs>